With just a few minutes of your time and a little know-how, you can do things like clear the app cache on your Android device to help speed it up as well as save yourself a little bit of precious storage space. I'm Jason Cipriani and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm going to walk you through clearing your app cache as well as Google Chrome's cache while we're at it and explain why you should do this at least every once in a while. So each app you have installed on your phone has a cache to it, which means basically that it's downloading data when you run the app or storing data, creating data when you run the app that can take up space. So for apps like Spotify, maybe it's storing your last played songs or the devices you prefer to play songs on. Or Facebook, it's storing profile pictures for people that show up in your timeline as well as some photos maybe that you've commented on or liked. I don't know the specifics, but those are examples of the type of information that, that's usually cached by apps in addition to what they take up for your storage. Photos app is another great example. Photos that you've recently uploaded or downloaded can temporarily be stored in cache so you can easily recall them if you're sharing them or viewing them multiple times. But all of that stuff can add up over time as well. So each app's cache thankfully is clearable, deletable, emptyable, whatever the right word there is, and it takes just a few seconds to do. So on this Pixel 7, which is running the latest version of Android 13, it's current, I'm gonna walk through this process. It's gonna be very similar on the rest of Android devices. The biggest difference is in the first interaction here. So we'll launch the settings app and scroll through the list to find storage. Now, not every manufacturer puts the apps listing under storage. Some of them actually put apps as a main setting in the settings app. So if you scroll through and you don't see storage here as an option, but you do see apps, go ahead and select that, you're in the right spot. So I'm gonna scroll through, I've opened the settings app and I'm gonna select storage. And then the top option is apps. I'm gonna select apps. And then on the next screen in the top right hand corner, I am gonna change it from sort by name to sort by size. Now what this will do is it'll sort all the apps on my device in, in order of the amount of space they're taking up on my device. Now here's a little bit of an aside and a word of caution. I do not recommend going through and clearing the cache for system services and some system apps. For example, the very first option on my list here is Android System Intelligence. I tap into it, I can see that the cache is only 10 or four kilobits, kilobytes. I don't know what that's gonna delete from my Android system intelligence. And in the past, I've had bad experiences by going through and willy-nilly clearing the cache for random device services and having to set stuff back up or causing a bunch of issues down the road. So my advice is stick to apps like uh, you know, Wise or Facebook or even the camera app, maybe, that's an iffy one. The Ring app, uh, GoPro Quick, stuff like that. Third party apps, the Photos app, definitely clear some cash on that one because storage can get quite a bit. So once you have your list of installed apps, what I would do is select one. I'm gonna go down and find Facebook and you can see here that there is a few different options, one of which is clear storage the other is clear cache. Only clear storage if you basically want to set the app up from scratch again. You're going to delete all your stored credentials. Don't do that unless it's a last resort and you absolutely need to. What we're really looking at here is clear cache. On this phone, uh, right now, Facebook app has taken up just under five megabytes of cache. I actually wrote an article about this and it was a lot more in that article, I believe. So that's why it's so low now. But once you're ready to clear cache, you can see there's a trash can icon there, clear cache. Tap on that and the cache is cleared. I'll scroll down a little bit, go to the Ring app. The cache there is not very much. It's only 229 kilobytes. Uh, the GoPro Quick app has a little bit more, eight megabytes. I'm gonna clear that. And literally that's all you need to do. You go through these apps one by one, see what's taking up a lot of space, clear the cache out. Or if an app is being problematic, clear the cache out. Maybe a file is corrupted in there some credentials it stored or, or values that it stored got corrupt and it needs to recreate those files. Clear the cache. It's gonna speed up your phone and improve your overall experience with the app, especially if you're having issues. 
Best Buy app. I've never even opened it. It's using quite a bit. Uh, Spark, do use that. 45 megabit cache. I'm sure that, megabyte cache, I'm sure that is from downloaded attachments cleared. Now, this may cause you to reload some stuff down the road and your cache is gonna be rebuilt and eventually come back up, which is why you should do this. I, unless you're not, if you're having issues, do this regularly or when you're having issues. If you're not having issues once a quarter, once every few months, it doesn't hurt to go in and clear your app cache. All right, so what about clearing Google Chrome and your browser cache? So what you can do is launch Google Chrome, you'll tap on the settings button in the top right corner and then history. Now there is a clear browsing data link at the top and you'll be taken to a screen that looks a lot like this. Here you can select the frequency or the amount of time I should say that you want your browser cache to be deleted and you'll also have options to delete your browsing history, your cookies and site data. I would leave those two alone because you'll be signed out of all your sites and unless you don't mind that, but what we're really focusing on is cache, cached images and files. I just cleared this yesterday, so right now it's only freeing up 2.7 megabytes, but I'll go ahead and hit clear data and that is done. Now this doesn't delete your apps. Um, unless you clear storage, it shouldn't delete your login information or any of that stuff. This is simply deleting items that are stored, meant to be stored temporarily, that's why it's a cache, and then used and discarded. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes stuff gets stuck. And this is an easy and effective way to clear up that memory or that storage, but also speed up your device and the apps that are use it, that have too big of a cache. I think that makes sense. Does it make sense? Let me know. Hopefully that helps you out. Again, you can do this every once in a while or when you're having problems. I'm Jason Cipriani. Thanks for watching this ZDNet how-to video. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech tips, just like this one, as well as all the latest tech news and reviews.